height is a major concern for most guys. It's a major factor that can determine how your life is gonna be. There's a lot of information on the internet on how to maximize your height. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be sh**. Some say you can increase your height, while others say it's all genetics. Some just give in practical methods. While genetics play a huge role, nutrition is a major factor that most people ignore or underestimate. Your body needs the right building blocks to reach its full height potential. That means high quality proteins, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. But here's the thing, our modern diets have moved away from the nutrient-dense primal foods that our ancestors derived on. For our ancestors, reaching full stature was paramount for survival and success. They didn't have modern conveniences, yet they thrived. In this video, I dive into height growth, the role of nutrition, and whether you can still grow taller as an adult. Stay tuned till the end, cause I'll also share the biggest height growth myths and what you should avoid if you want to maximize your potential. Let's rewind the clock. For millions of years, our bodies evolved in a very different environment. Our ancestors were active and their diets revolved around whole, unprocessed foods. They lived in harmony with nature's rhythm and their bodies reflected this lifestyle. Sunlight exposure was abundant. Their diets were rich in nutrient-dense foods from wild animals, fish, wild honey, and seasonal fruits in moderation. Understanding these principles can guide us in optimizing our own growth potential even in today's modern world. Genetics contribute around 60-80% to of your final height meaning if your parents are tall, you have a higher chance of being tall. However, your height potential can be limited by poor nutrition, lifestyle choices, and hormonal imbalances. The thing is, most people don't really know if their parents reach their full height potential. The other 20-40%, that's environmental factors, proper nutrition, quality sleep, hormone levels, and the amount of stress placed on the body. Studies on malnourished children obviously show that children who grow up with nutrient deficiencies are significantly shorter than those with proper diets, even with the same genetic potential. The growth plates are soft cartilage tissues located at the ends of long bones. These plates determine growth during childhood and puberty. Your growth plates remain open until about ages 18 to 25, varying between individuals. There are factors that can influence the speed at which these plates close, like hormonal signals, nutrient availability, and mechanical stress. Once puberty ends, estrogen and testosterone can lead to growth plate fusion, halting further elongation. Once they fuse, natural light growth stops. Nutrient-dense diets rich in collagen, animal protein, and pulse-soluble vitamins help keep these plates active and growing for as long as possible. The key hormones that influence height growth are The human growth hormone. It is essential for bone growth and cell regeneration. It is found in highest levels during sleep. Higher IgH levels during childhood and puberty contribute to great height gains. IgF1 It works in conjunction with growth hormone to stimulate bone growth and increase muscle mass. It's a major height growth hormone directly boosted by animal-based diets, especially from dairy, red meat, and organ meats. Testosterone and estrogen Testosterone enhances bone density and muscle mass, while estrogen causes the growth plates to close which is why women stop growing earlier than men. So, now let's go to the role of nutrition in height growth and the essential nutrients for maximizing your height growth. Protein, the building block of growth. Animal proteins provide a complete essential amino acids profile for muscle and bone growth. The best sources are grass-fed beef, lamb, pastured eggs, wild-caught fish, and raw dairy. A study found that children consuming higher levels of animal protein grew significantly taller than those on plant-based diets due to higher IGF-1 stimulation, collagen, and bone growth. Growth plates and bones contain collagen, which is necessary for flexible, strong skeletal development. The best sources would be homemade bone broth, chicken skin, tendon-rich meats, and oxtail. Collagen supports joint flexibility and spinal elongation, which can affect height and posture. Calcium and vitamin D Calcium is the primary mineral in bone composition, while vitamin D helps absorb calcium efficiently. Deficiencies in either can lead to weaker bones and stunted growth. Your best sources would be raw dairy, egg yolks, fatty fish, and get enough sun exposure. Children who receive adequate vitamin D grow taller than those deficient in it due to improved calcium absorption. Zinc, 
an underrated growth booster. Zinc plays a key role in growth hormone production and bone formation. The best sources would be oysters, shellfish, beef liver, and eggs. Zinc deficient children are more likely to be shorter and experience delayed puberty. Omega-3 fatty acids for enhancing bone and brain growth. They reduce inflammation and support hormone balance for optimal growth. The best sources would be wild-caught salmon, grass-fed beef fat, and pastured egg yolks. So, hot foods hinder growth. You should avoid these foods. The first one being refined sugar and processed junk food. It's the biggest piece of dog sh as they cause insulin spikes, which disrupt a GH release. I think this is obvious and everyone knows ultra-processed foods are not good for you. So if you're still eating them, you have no idea why. Stop it. Get some help. The next one is seed oils, vegetable oils, soybeans, canola, corn, and sunflower. These are packed with omega-6 fatty acid. Too much creates chronic inflammation. When your body is inflamed, it shifts focus from growth and repair to damage control. Seed oils disrupt your hormones as they contain polyunsaturated fats that slow down testosterone and growth hormone production. The solution is to ditch seed oils and switch to healthy animal fats. Grains and processed carbs as they contain anti-nutrients like leptins and phytic acid that block mineral absorption. Grains contain phytates, natural compounds that bind to essential minerals, robbing your body of key minerals. Carb-heavy diets, especially those with refined grains, cause constant insulin spikes. Refined carbs also trigger chronic inflammation, which puts stress on the body and interferes with bone growth, caffeine, and soda. Studies show that caffeine increases calcium loss through urine. Since your bones are still growing, losing calcium at a young age can make a big difference in your final height. Many sodas contain phosphoric acid, which disrupts your body calcium balance. Too much phosphorus pulls calcium out of the bones making them weaken over time. Studies have linked high soda intake to lower body density, which could impact not only your height, but your posture and overall strength. Caffeine also messes with growth hormone as it increases cortisol, which in turn lowers growth hormone production. You should stick to spring water, raw milk, and other nutrient-rich drinks that support growth, not stunt it. And excess salt, as it can lead to calcium loss through urine. Can you grow after puberty? Know that once growth plates close, natural height increase stops. As I said earlier, proper nutrition will prevent growth plates from closing prematurely. I still continued growing even after 19. I'm sure there are also others who continued growing if their growth plates hadn't closed yet. Even if you'll not add extra inches, it's always beneficial to take care of your health and you can still improve your bone density. Another thing I want to mention is lifestyle factors affecting height, like sleep. AGH is primarily released during deep sleep, stages 3 and 4. Make sure to get enough sleep every night. Sleep-deprived individuals produce up to 50% less growth hormone. And posture. Slouching will obviously make you look shorter and just weird. So now, let's talk about some of the biggest side growth myths. Drinking milk will make you taller. Okay, drinking milk alone won't make you taller. Raw milk can absolutely support growth. It's most effective during childhood and puberty if you're nutrient deficient and paired with a growth-friendly lifestyle. If you're past puberty, raw milk won't magically make you taller, but it can still improve bone density, muscle mass, and overall strength. So it can definitely help you reach your full height potential if you drink it young, combine it with a solid diet, and take care of your overall health. Take supplements to increase your height. Height growth supplements are mostly scams. They contain synthetic nutrients that will do nothing to increase your height. At that point, why are you taking artificial supplements when you can eat actual food that will give you real nutrients in the most bioavailable form? Proper nutrition and lifestyle are key. Sprinting will make you taller. AGH is released in response to intense physical exertion. Sprinting is an anaerobic exercise meaning it pushes your muscle to work without relying on oxygen, creating lactic acid buildup. The reason why more AGH is released is because this lactic acid buildup signals your body to release it to help with muscle repair and recovery. Studies do not support sprinting for height growth. Fasting will make you taller. There are people who actually believe that. 
Fasting is deliberately starving your cells and your body needs nutrients to grow. The reason why AGH is released during fasting is because of the body's survival mechanism. When you fast, insulin levels drop since there's no food intake. Insulin and AGH have an inverse relationship. Low insulin signals the body to increase AGH production to help maintain muscle and burn fat. During fasting, the body needs to protect muscle tissue while using fat for energy. Studies show that AGH levels can increase 300 to 1200 during a prolonged fast. This increase is for metabolic and recovery purposes, not height growth. More sleep equals more height. More sleep doesn't mean more height. Sleep helps a lot, but it will not override genetics or poor diets and a bad lifestyle. By understanding these strategies, you can optimize your nutrition for growth and hopefully reach your full height potential. Make informed choices about your health. Try improving what you can and make peace with what you can't. Thanks for watching.